Hello everyone, thanks for joining me once again. As you can see from the title, I am officially on a winning streak. I've got three wins in a row with this brand new Techno RC 410 SL. And wow, for the short time I've had it, it has evolved quite a bit. I um, want to go over some of the upgrades I've put on before I forget. Uh, just so I don't leave anything out. I have the Exotech steering rack with the steering arms. Or the Ackerman with the steering arms. Uh, and the Exotech front spindle. And um, the carbon fiber top plate. I want to get the carbon fiber front plate. But it's out of stock right now. I do have the front Techno shock tower. And the aluminum caps on the shocks with the aluminum collars also for the rear um, as you know from my previous videos I have the upgraded bumper this is a 410.3 bumper I also got these um, one up racing pro duty 3.5 millimeter turnbuckles and also got the exotech rear diff mount here I mean the rear center diff mount and uh, seems to be really well made that's pretty much it so i'm going to show you the 10 laps i have on a qualifier before i changed everything uh, as far as setup goes and then the second uh screenshot is going to show how the times improved just more consistently after the changes so the 10 laps in the second uh shot are from the actual race let's go over what i changed from the qualifiers to the race first huge thing right here is you can see the shocks are to the back of the shock tower and arm of course and the sway bar is flipped around accordingly um, and that took a little bit to do i didn't realize i had to do some things when i was actually doing it on the fly in between um, the final qualifier and the main race so first things first the sh the sway bar in the front and rear i went kind of crazy i said let me just try going to the total other end of the spectrum and i went with the heaviest sway bar on the front and rear and um, of course the shocks moving to the back what i actually did was i flipped the left arm to the right arm i didn't flip them over i just swapped them and what that does basically is it it's going to put the shock position to the rear and the sway bar connector to the front but the thing i didn't realize right off the bat was that right there the droop screw and the notch cut out for the droop screw wasn't going to line up so on the fly had to dremel that out and had to drill out for the uh, set screw you can kind of see the droop screw touching the chassis right there um, this is the old hole right here when this arm was on the other side so yeah i had to do a lot of dremeling and drilling and everything worked out though and i did notice after the race that um my shock was getting scratched from the turnbuckle right there so just now just before i filmed the video i added a spacer right there that's a good two to maybe two and a half millimeters for that uh, spacer right there to bring the turnbuckle out just enough to clear the shock spring so that it doesn't rub next time as you can see here on the front i have the heaviest uh, sway bar that they make for this car just so you know it's the all of them have that one large line and then the four dots after it and when i lift the arm you can actually see the other side lifting much like in a eight scale buggy and i noticed with a very light um sway bar it doesn't even barely move anything the rear does not really move just slightly just slightly at the very end of compression there and wow the car felt like it was more planted this way honestly guys i just was able to go around the turns quicker and it was more predictable the car felt less twitchy I'm really liking this um i did change the the uh, diff oil in the rear to 15k that's it let's get into the race uh, i did a lot of changes and i think you guys will see how hooked up the car looks i did make a lot of mistakes but the car felt great so as i get more used to how it performs and it's more predictable now i think i'm just going to get faster thanks again for watching my videos please like and subscribe enjoy the race video 
You guys be safe and keep on driving. All right, guys, about to do the A main. Oh, about to drop my truck. Looks like they don't have time to blow the track, even though it's an A main, so it's gonna be a little dusty. Trying out these Panther Boa soft compound tires on the Techno wheels. We'll see how it goes. She's ready to go, guys. Let's race. Here we go, at the tow. And we're off with the Pro 4 Modified A main. Dante making full use of that TQ spot, grabbing that hole shot, coming around to the double chicane double. Single in the first one, being challenged already. I think that's Tony. Tony taking over the lead. Dante trying to do a triple, not quite making it. Tony taking over that lead. He wants to lead this race from tone to tone. Dante, Dante in the two. I'm not sure who that is in the three. One, two. I will let three, you know as soon as four. they cross the line. Right now, Lewis is in the three. Massimo Five. in the four. Tony's still showing the way, coming into the Six, front. Seven. And if right in front of the driver's stand. Dante not that far behind him. He gets... He flips upside down, is able to marshal himself. Tony tried, Tony catches the two, flips upside down, Dante gets around him. Coming Seven down the straightaway, that is one and two. Dante now leading Tony. Three. Dante, the all white, short course, coming into the double, chicane double. Four. Track is getting a little Five. slick. Sun's going down, the temperature's coming out of the track. No. One, two. One and two crossing a line. Tony, Tony in the two. Seven. Lewis in the three. Lewis crossing the line. Mike Concho in the four. Four. Five, six. Now I'm showing Dante in the one. That's what I'm seeing on the track and on the computer. Dante crossing the line. One. That is your current leader right now. Six minutes left. Two. Tony almost Three. seven seconds behind the leader right now. Plenty of time to make that up. We got five, almost six minutes to go. Dante in the one. Dante going into the off camper. I guess we're gonna call that Five. Mount Pack more. Seven. One. I'll have to get the full Six. story on that later. Dante hitting the kick up from the step down. Coming into the Two. double chicane. Three. Doubles out. Rolls it over with the traction roll. Although I think he more hit a rut than anything. Dante going into the double, casing it. Singling way out. Tony coming into the triple now, double in, single out, double out. That should Four. definitely put him a little closer to Dante. Dante five. showing the way right Four. now. Lewis in the three. Six, five minutes left. Two, three, seven. One, four, five. Race 10, you are next. E-Buggy A main, please have them ready to go. Six. We are gonna be running out of daylight soon. Seven. We got four, a little over four minutes to go in this one. Dante's still showing the way. One. Tony in the two. Dante going down the straight straightaway right now. Tony on pat four minutes. Mount Packmore. Coming four. through the chicane, getting ready to cross the straight. Two. That is your number two. The gap right now is almost 12 seconds. Dante just slowly pulling away. Looking to take the full points on this one. Five. 
Dante looking to capitalize on 101 points. That should definitely help him in the point series. Tony sitting in the two, almost half a track back. Three, two. Mike Honcho Four. sitting in the three right now. I believe that's Honcho driving the black short course white rims. Going into the double chicane double. That is your number three, getting it upside down. That's gonna allow five. I'm not sure who that is. Is that Tony? I think Tony just lapped him. Yes, he did. That's gonna allow Six. number two to get by. Mike's still gonna retain that three third spot. Left. Dante still out in the one. Getting ready to come in front of the driver, stand on the triple two. double. Gets it kind of crossed up. We got three Four. minutes to go, drivers. Three minutes to go. One. Dante still holding on to that top spot. Five. Tony sitting Six. in the two. Seven. Two. Three. Four. One. Two minutes left. Five. Two. Seven. Six. Three. Four. Right now your closest race is between Mike Honcho and Massimo. They are getting ready to go through the double chicane One. double. Massimo hits the double, spins around a little bit. That is three and four. That would be the final podium spot. Mike Honcho doing the double single double. Two. Massimo doing a double single, almost a double. Mike Seven, is driving five. the flank, black body. Massimo goes over the into the hole. Massimo Three. driving the Dukes of Hazard style body, getting ready to come down the straightaway. That is your four. number four. One. Mike Honcho holding on to that three spot, going back into the double chicane double. One minute Massimo left. trying very hard to close that gap so he can get the final bump, the final podium spot. Two. We are less than one minute to go. Dante still holding on to that one. Tony in the two. Seven. Five. Mike touching the wall up there a little bit. That's going to allow Massimo to get a little closer. Mike getting on the inside of the tube. Massimo trying real hard to close that gap. I'm not sure he's going to be able to do it with 30 seconds to go. We got Dante out in the one, Tony in the two, Mike Honcho in the three, Massimo in the four. 15 seconds left to go, drivers, 15 seconds left to go. Three. Five seconds to go, drivers. One. Five seconds to go. The race is over. And that is time. Race Five to the seven. line. Mike, you are done. You got caught. I'm not sure what happened. It looks like Massimo's going to finish seven. in that three. Tony, you are done. Gary, you are done. Seven is done. Wait, done. Wait, done.